in a cloud watching us and laughing. And he's probably having an Easter egg hunt there too. That sounds to me like unmitigated belly laughing out of the mouth of the resurrected Jesus. Evidence of the resurrection through the mouth of a young child. Take a look around you this morning at all of us who have survived the losses and the grief of this past year and the thing that we most wanted to do on this Easter morning was to celebrate the living God together here as we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. And that cloud of witnesses includes Betty Crane and, and, and Bubba Kennedy and, and Beverly and James and, and, and Geraldine and Anne and Jane and Lee. That cloud of witnesses of our dearly loved and missed family and friends are here with us this morning. To paraphrase Psalm 126, when the Lord restored us, we were like those who dream. And now our mouths are filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoice. Jesus is risen. Jesus is alive. And that, friends, is the way resurrection works. Alleluia. Amen. Please rise for the affirmation of faith. We believe in God, maker of all things, provider of all things, who loves all people. We follow Jesus, in whom salvation has come to us, who sees us for who we are, heals the wounds of our hearts, and makes us new. In his death and resurrection, we see the deepest truth of life. We live by the power of the Holy Spirit, which empowers us for self-giving love. We give thanks to the Church, the body of Christ, and for the gift of forgiveness, the power of resurrection, and the mystery of the world. Amen. You may be seated. God assists the beginners. We rejoice this day that through your powerful love that Jesus Christ has been raised from the dead. In the resurrection, you have shown us that neither trouble, nor persecution, nor hardships, nor poverty, dangers, nor death, nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our risen Lord. We thank you so much for your love and for your hope that is given to us. We pray that God would free us to trust in you, that we may live in confidence and faith. In the resurrection, you are victorious over sin and violence and oppression. You, Almighty God, have shown us our way for forgiveness. Help us to forgive one another, but also free us to risk ourselves for the struggles for peace and for justice for all your children. Help us to join in partnership and restore all creation to your will. Thank you for the resurrection that has opened all the gates of eternal life. And we pray, O oh God, that thou would help us to serve you in courage and not in fear, but in hope and in love, for you have given to us already. Almighty and loving God, you bring new possibilities out of what has seemed so hopeless. 
through the resurrection, we know there is hope. We fill our hearts with that hope and to all who have felt despair and lost hope. As we come out of a year filled with pandemic of COVID, so many challenges for all, anxiety, and wondering how to survive, or how will our families survive, or loneliness and death. We live today with many losses of loved ones, a way of life that is so different. But we have your love and we have your hope. You have not forsaken us. This Easter in the resurrection of Christ is to know that we have never been forsaken. We are not alone. And we will never be without God, our God of love and strength and hope. We have learned so much, but God, we need so much help to live in what is new, a new way of life. Work your creation among us that we may serve you without fear. Help us to keep our focus, Holy Father, upon the risen Christ as he lives within us. Through the presence of Jesus Christ among us, Bring us into community of freedom, hope, and love. As that community of faith today, we pray. Especially, O oh God, we pray for, for Don, for Martin, for Carol, for Jerry, for Randy and Valerie, for Wes, for Jake, for Daniel and Lawson, Laura, Sherry, Spencer, the family of Dan Miller. Regina and Jesse, Craig, Patty, Jack, and Keith. And we pray that there might be peace and unity in our community and in our world. Amen. And we pray for the families of the 127 people who have died in Shadowville County for COVID-19. God is holy. join in reading the words that are printed in your bulletin. Holy is Jesus, God in heart, the risen Christ, whose mercy gathers us together in community, whose grace meets us in our brokenness, and whose loving faithfulness gives us renewed hope. In this meal, we remember Jesus, his promises, and the price he paid for who he was, what he said, and for what he did for our benefit. And on the night before Jesus died, he took a loaf of bread, he gave thanks, and he broke it. And he said, take and eat, this is my body, give it for you, do this in remembrance of me. After supper, Jesus took the cup, and having poured, he lifted it to God, and he said, This is the cup of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in remembrance of me. In sharing this meal, we live out the mystery of our faith. And let us pray. Bless this bread and bless this cup. The wheat and the grape, the farmer and the harvest, the seed and the sower. These several elements are shared in community so that we may taste and see your goodness and become one body in Christ. For it is through Christ, in Christ, and with Christ, and in unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory is yours, God most holy, now and forever. Amen. This is the Lord's table, and the invitation is open to all who wish to know the risen Lord. And so I would ask that as one body, that we would open and together partake of the bread, which is the body of Christ, and the cup, which is the cup of blessing. Thanks be to God. Please share it.
Christ be and the power for our risen Lord. We thank you, Barbara, for co officiating and sharing the work this morning. I am so thankful that I didn't have to stand for too long, and more than that, I'm thankful for your wisdom and your presence. Um, in the morning where we read the text from Mark, where the three women were the ones that showed up, I thought it was kind of appropriate that we have at least two of us here this morning. And I'm thankful that you have made your way here. And I, I pray that you would go forward with the resurrected presence of Christ, knowing that no matter where you go or what you encounter, you are never beyond the reach of God. May God's love be with you. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ fill you. And may the power of the Holy Spirit surround you and empower you and comfort you for the coming days. Go to serve the risen Lord. Amen. Thank you.